What's up guys, we're back with another Airstream renovation video and I don't know if you can tell, but behind me is Serenity and we got about six inches between the shell and the frame. That's right, we got the shell lifted off the frame. It was a very nerve wracking process, but we got it done and I think, I think it's pretty good. I think it's gonna hold up. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I did it, what method I used and yeah, that's pretty much it. That's a lot of wood. I didn't realize how much actual wood I just bought. <laughs> when it was all like stacked together in a bundle, it really didn't seem that big, but unloading it, I was like, wow, it's way more wood than I need. Probably double the amount. All right, so anyway, we're gonna be building that wooden frame inside of the shell so that we can lift it off of the Airstream's frame, which we just painted, by the way. If you haven't seen the last video, go check that out. So we're gonna start building that frame. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it, what the plan is gonna be. Um, I actually got this idea from Ian over at Miller Garage. If you haven't seen his Airstream renovation videos, you need to go check him out because he's got a lot of good stuff, a lot of inspiration. So thank you, Ian, for the idea. I don't have a shop that like you do now, but uh, I'm gonna use your trick, I didn't want to build a whole gantry. Um, I just wanted to be able to lift it off really quick, do the work I needed to do to the frame, and put it back down. So that's what we're going to do. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is build basically a truss-like structure on this main rib here. So the, air, the shell has these aluminum ribs that go all the way around. And there's a couple of them. They go all the way around the shell. Now surprisingly, there is no ribs that run this direction, uh, lengthwise down the, the length of the shell. Um, so it's all just a couple this way. All right, so that's the main uh, support for the shell. So what I'm gonna do is in order to lift up the shell, is I'm gonna build a frame out of two by fours, a truss, and I'm gonna screw them into these ribs. I'm gonna support them going down to the front, and I'm gonna run some this way. Basically, I just wanna give, once, you know, when we lift the shell off and it's not sitting on anything uh, all the way around, I wanna be able, I want it to be able to have something that's supporting it, right? So that way, just in case there's no buckling or bending anywhere, I doubt that would actually happen, but you never know. And then I'm gonna give it some supports on the bottom just to keep, Basically, I just want to keep the shell rigid so that way when I lift it up, it doesn't move, it doesn't shift, and it's in the exact same position so that way when I put it down, it's a nice smooth up and down and I don't have to worry about any shifting or anything occurring. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna build this first one and see how it goes and then we'll make adjustments from there. I'm gonna do the same thing in the back and then I'll connect the two. Let's get started. Hey Siri, launch level. You're gonna have to drill some pilot holes first because these uh, screws are not self-tapping and this metal is a lot thicker. Those cross beams in going down to the front of the shell. And this thing is pretty solid. I was gonna put two beams here, so there's a total of three beams going up, but honestly, I think like that's gonna give me enough of a supportive frame to actually lift the shell and the shell will be able to sit on that, no problem.
right, so now that I got the interior wooden frame all built up, I got these pull jacks, these giant things. You just twist them and they lift up. I'll put a link down in these subscriptions so you can get them if you want. I had to buy two of them. Lacey's dad, Tom, had these two already because he's a mechanic. So he's letting us borrow them so we didn't have to buy four. Once I get the pole jacks in place, I'm gonna go through and cut all the bolts off and then we will slowly lift it and hopefully nothing goes wrong. This is a bit nerve wracking for sure. I'm gonna put these in and get started. Once we get this lifted, we're gonna build an A-frame poking out of the wheel wells that's wider than the shell itself, and that way it has some legs on the outside hitting the ground, adding even more stability. So with that and the pole jacks, we should be super solid. I might add a couple more two by fours going straight down to the ground just to give it some legs on the ground, but we'll see how it is after we get the A-frame. So, all right guys, so I'm gonna start cutting all these bolts off. So basically the shell is bolted on all the way around. There's one bolt in each of the outriggers and then up on the front and the back there's several bolts. There's a couple bolts in the frame itself and then the beam that goes across. So anyway, get a closer look up on this, Parker. So we got this bolt here. These are on the our trailer. I don't know if it's like this normally, but most of them are all bent and rusted out, so that's why I can't just unscrew it, so I gotta cut it off. Well, that was easy. There we oh, go. No. Oh, I can see is your head. One bolt down. One bolt down and it's rusted. Ton more to go. I was only able to get a handful of the bolts with the Sawzall because there's just not enough space in between the shell and the frame to get the saw in there. I either cut into the uh, C-channel or the outriggers and for the, the pieces that I'm replacing, not a big deal, but several of them I'm still keeping so I don't want to cut them. So I was able to get a couple off, but now I'm going to switch to the uh, angle grinder with the cutting wheel and come in from the top and just cut the nut and bolt off from the top. So hopefully I can do that without ruining anything. Dude, you just stepped on something you told me not to step on. I do want to tell you that I actually do work in here. It's just not all the time. Do you feel like confident that you did a good job? Like how confident are you in this whole like building a structure? What part are you not confident about? Uh, just the whole thing, the whole idea. This whole idea? Just the idea of lifting the shell. But you know how, what you're doing, right? Yeah. Are we like doing this? Oh, I was lifting this time. You can actually hear it. Oh my god, this makes me want to barf just watching it move. Shell is elevated. And I think it's good. <laughs> I hope so. I don't know what else to do. I mean, uh, Pretty sturdy, if you can see it. Oh. it. Wobbles a little bit, mostly in the front and the back, because it's stabilized in the middle. Whoops, I cut your head off, I got excited. But, I mean, push on it. It doesn't seem like it's gonna go anywhere. So, hopefully it doesn't go anywhere. Strap down. 
to the frame. Hold on. Both ends, so that'll Clear. keep it tight on anchor, two anchor points. It'll wobble for sure, but I don't think it's going anywhere. Hopefully. For those of you have insurance. <laughs> All right, guys, well, that's one way to lift an Airstream frame. I'll let you know in the next video if it stays on and doesn't fall over. I'm not too worried about it. I don't think it will. I mean, obviously, it's just the thought of it is a little nerve-wracking. I, I, think, I think we're good. I think we got enough points. I ended up adding three more two-by-fours just going straight down to the ground on the front and the back. I only did one in the front because I ran out of screws, so... I'll probably get some more and just add another point of contact. I just that way there's just you know multiple points of contact on the ground. So we got our A-frame here connected to the center truss, and that's going out the wheel wells into the ground. And I lowered the pole, pole jacks just a little bit after I got these screwed in, so that way there was a lot enough uh, weight actually on those so that they're you know actually in the ground and not just floating getting pretty crazy in here this is like a it's a death trap it's definitely hard to maneuver hey looking good brother <laughs> looking good uh by yourself well Lacey helped me oh she's staying out of your way <laughs> all right guys so thanks for watching that is how you lift an airstream frame at least that's one way to doing it without doing the whole gantry over the thing and lifting it up that way or a crane or whatever if you don't have a shop obviously if you can get this thing in a shop and just get a winch on the ceiling do it that way but uh i don't have that trailer stuck in the front yard for, for now so this is the way i got to do it and it was pretty simple just uh build and build out the frame get the pole jacks lift it up and anchor it down and get some stabilizers on it so Again, I want to give a shout out to Ian over at Miller Garage. He's the only one I've seen who's actually done it this way. I don't know if anyone else has copied him since, but I copied him. Thank you, Ian, for the idea for not having to build a gantry. If you haven't checked out his YouTube channel, go over there and check him out. He does a fantastic job with all his Airstream renovations that he does. If you're looking for someone to hire, to, to uh, help you with your Airstream renovation. That's what he does now. So if you enjoyed this video and you it helped you out in any way, please hit subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, turn on the bell for notifications so you get notified next time we get the next Airstream renovation out. On the next video, we're gonna be cutting out the rusted out outriggers and welding them back on. I haven't welded since I was a teenager, so I don't want to get back into it. I want to make sure that these are on there properly. So I'm going to get someone who knows what they're doing and has been doing it recently. So i got a friend who can do it for me. So we're going to do that in the next video, and then we're going to finish getting the, the frame all painted up and ready to go. See you next time.